I'm going to teach you how to order food and drinks in Vietnamese. So if you want to know how to order your favorite dish like pho or bún cha, then keep watching. Again, before we begin, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Now, let's start. Now for the first part, let's go through the conversation in Vietnamese. Chào chị. Chị muốn gọi món gì ạ? À? Cho chị xem thực đơn. Vâng, đây ạ. À. Cho chị một phở bò và một đĩa nem rán. Chị có gọi thêm đồ uống gì không ạ? À? Cho chị một nước chanh nữa. Chị có muốn dùng đồ tráng miệng không? Cho chị chè bưởi. Tính tiền cho chị nhé. Vâng ạ. À. Now, let us go through the conversation sentence by sentence. First one we have Chào chị Chị muốn gọi món gì ạ? À? Which means Hi, what dish would you like to order? Cho chị xem thực đơn This one means Can I see the menu please? Vâng, đây ạ à. Here you go Cho chị một phở bò và một đĩa nem rán. This means I want a beef noodles and a plate of spring roll, please. Chị có gọi thêm đồ uống gì không ạ? À? This one means do you want to order any drinks? Cho chị một nước chanh nữa. This means... I want one lemon juice, please. Chị có muốn dùng đồ tráng miệng không? This one means, do you want to have any desserts? Cho chị chè bưởi. This means, I want pomelo sweet soup. Tính tiền cho chị nhé. This one means, can I have the bills, please? Vâng ạ. À. This one means right. Now, let us go through the new words. Gọi. Gọi. This one means to order. Món. Món. This means a dish. Xem. Xem. This one means look or take a look. Thực đơn, thực đơn. This one means a menu. So we have the phrase Cho chị xem thực đơn, which means Can I take a look at the menu? Phở bò, phở bò. This one means beef noodles. And we have bò, bò, which means beef. Đĩa, đĩa, this one means a plate. Nem rán, nem rán, this means spring roll. So we have đĩa nem rán, which means a plate of spring roll. Thêm, thêm, this one means extra. Đồ uống. Đồ uống. This means drinks. Nước chanh. Nước chanh. This one means lemon juice. Dùng. Dùng. This one means to use or to have meals. Đồ tráng miệng. Đồ tráng miệng. This means dessert. Tính. Tính. This one means to calculate. Tiền. 
tiền. This one means money. So we have the phrase tính tiền, tính tiền, which means calculate the money or to have the bills if you're in the restaurant. Now let us go through the grammar structure. The first one we have the grammar structure that help us to order food or drinks in the restaurants. So we have cho plus personal pronoun plus noun. For example, cho tôi một phở bò. Cho tôi hai nước chanh. So for the first one, we have tôi as the personal pronoun and một phở bò as the noun, which means one bowl of beef noodles. And for the second example, we have tôi as the personal pronoun and hai nước chanh as the noun, which means two lemon juice. Next one is the grammar structure that asks for more or asks for extra of something. So we have cho tôi thêm plus the noun or cho tôi plus the noun plus nữa or cho tôi thêm plus the noun plus nữa For example cho tôi thêm một cốc nước chanh which means I want one more lemon juice or cho tôi một bát phở nữa which means I want one more bowl of beef noodles Next one, we have some common sentences used in the restaurants and the first part is those that are used by the staff So we have Chị đi mấy người Chị đi mấy người which means how many people do you have? So mấy người, mấy người means how many people? Next one. Chị dùng gì à? Chị dùng gì à? Which means what would you like to have? So the word dùng, we have learned above, which means to use or to have, as in a meal. Chị gọi thêm gì nữa không? Chị gọi thêm gì nữa không? Which means, do you want anything else? Chị muốn ăn gì? Or, chị muốn uống gì? Which means, what do you like to eat or what do you like to drink? Chị muốn dùng món nào? Chị muốn dùng món nào? Which means, what dish would you like to order? And now, let us go through some common sentences used in the restaurants for diners. First one we have, Cho tôi xem thực đơn, which means, can I see the menu please? Ở đây có món gì đặc biệt không? Ở đây có món gì đặc biệt không? Which means, do you have any special dish? Đây là món gì? Đây là món gì? Which means, what is this dish? Đừng cho đường nhé. Đừng cho đường nhé. This one means don't add sugar, please. And for the last one, we have Cho tôi thanh toán. Which means I want the bills, please, or I want to pay. So that's the end of our lesson for today. I hope that you have learned something new and don't forget to keep practicing because practice makes perfect. If you find my video useful, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up 
and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos. Thanks for watching. Xin chào và hẹn gặp lại.